he starred in TV favourites such as The Missing, Britannia and The Walking Dead. Well, now David Morrissey is heading to the Far East as a ruthless merchant with a hidden agenda in the new drama, The Singapore Grip. David Morrissey joins us now and it's lovely to see you. Thanks for joining us. So this is set in 1942 and it focuses on the family that we just saw there, the Blackets. And this is a British family living in Singapore. So just explain a little bit about who you play. Uh, yeah, I play Walter Blackett, and he is a uh, he's a uh, he's a man who ha ha he's fifty percent of a company which is he's a rubber exporter. So he takes rubber from Singapore and he exports it all over the world. And he his partner in crime, which is played by Charles Dance, is uh, he's just sadly just about to pass away, and he's going to hand his fifty percent over to his son. So I see this as an opportunity for me and my family to get a bit of bigger percentage of the company, so I'm trying to get my daughter to marry his son. Yeah, lots of family manipulation. You say he's a racist, he's bigoted, scheming, monstrous character, and you love him. Yeah, but he's very good at trade. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I do love him, actually. Um, I love him in the sense that I love playing him. Uh, he was a real challenge to play. I don't think I'd invite him round to my house at any time soon or sort of have any dinner parties with him, but he's a great character to play. And I think he's not a terribly unrecognisable character in our world as well. We watch him through the prism of history, obviously. But um, I think there's um, his opinions of commerce and um, certainly capitalism are, are opinions that we can see very much in our world today. You know? yeah. and I, but I do... I think he's... The tone of the piece is quite interesting because it's sort of um, P.G. Woodhouse meets Graham Greene, really. You know, the, it's a very heightened piece. Uh, it's sort of a satire. But it's dealing with real a real situation and a real time in our history when we didn't come out of it smelling of roses. You know? And actually, that's a really good point because there has been some controversy surrounding the show because of the nature of it and the colonialism. But you said that this is really important. We don't airbrush this and we need to tell it kind of warts and all, not just this kind of glorifying story, but actually the reality of what happened. Yeah, I think, you know, we are, as a nation, in our certainly in our curriculum, when we uh, look at our own history, we do tend to, tend to concentrate on the times when we, we in our glorious years, really. And, of course, we are where we are now as a nation uh, because of many, many different ways we've behaved in the past. And this is one particular arena of the British Empire where we didn't behave particularly very well, I think. So we have to highlight that as well. I think as a nation, we have to look at all of our history and be very honest about it about some of the things we did which were less than heroic mm. uh, and really face up to that and stand up to that. And this is a period, even though the show slightly takes a satirical look at that, it is a, it was, you know, it was a, they were exploitative people. You know, they really did uh, use the local populace in a way that was a disgrace, really. So, and it's that racist bigotry. It's, it's, um, it's an entitlement that, that I think is, needs to be highlighted and is not a million miles away from some of the stuff we see today. Actually. Yeah. Um, and, um, and it's Sunday, it's nine o'clock, um, and, uh, and there's a little confusion about the title. Uh, some people are not entirely sure. Yeah, well, some, you know... Some... Well, it was quite the education for me this morning. Let me tell <laughs> Some people are not entirely it. sure about the... No, yeah, some people weren't aware of... You're not going to ask me know. to explain it, are you? Well, well no, you we... don't have to explain it because we've got... Uh, are you going to explain it within the series? Well, the, I'm sure you know that many actors, uh, like well, myself, I only read my bits. I never read any other characters' <laughs> bits. You know, that's all white noise. So, so I talk, I talk, I talk, and then white noise, white noise, white noise, while somebody else is talking. So, uh, and my, my character never really has to deal with the title, uh, really. So I'm very, I'm, you know, on tenterhooks to hear about what, what it is that well, Singapore... I have my own opinion, doctor, which I think, I think is a... 
I think there's an economic uh, explanation to it, but you might be in. Do you? Well, no, I, I, no I don't think there is because uh, <laughs> we we but we talked this morning about how we were going to explain this, and we felt that it was our duty to explain it. Uh, how do we do this? And then we thought, well, the best thing to do is to actually get a doctor involved. So uh, so that's what <laughs> oh, we've done. Oh, it's the best explanation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so here with your explanation, if you've been watching on Sundays and thinking, I don't know what it means, with your explanation, here is Dr. Zoe. The Singapore grip is a sexual technique which involves the woman using her vaginal muscles to stimulate a man's penis during intercourse whilst they both remain stationary. So you're quite happy that you're not the one that has to explain <laughs> that? Wow. That's... I mean, is that in episode three? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... I haven't got there yet. It is, it is perfect yeah. Sunday night viewing, that, isn't it? I think. If that doesn't get our viewing figures up, nothing <laughs> will. We had Charles, we had Charles dancing a sarong in episode one, and now this is uh, this is your teaser campaign for episode three. You're welcome. Uh, uh, I can't David, wait. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, Singapore Crip, now you know, uh, continues this Sunday at nine on ITV. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you're, you're more than welcome. Positively delighted with that. Oh.